I can make you put your phone down. Come on. Rock. You the one that I want. I call you all day and night cause you the one that I want. Rock the beat. What you used to? Do that dance, do that dance that I'm used to. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl, Faith, back with another video. I hope everybody can hear me. So basically, today's video is me telling y'all how I gain weight super fast. So when I first started on my weight gain journey, I'm gonna say I was like 111 pounds. It took me so long to get to 117 pounds and it seemed like every time I would get there I would lose the weight. Oh my gosh, so annoying. I'm so mad at myself. I'm like, okay, how could I let this happen? How could I lose all this weight? And then depression started setting in and insecurity started setting in and everything I had worked for was gone, had started setting in. I was like, okay, I have got to get serious. Like I have got to make some serious lifestyle changes and I got to make this happen. So I went on a complete body transformation journey and I'm going to tell you how I ended up gaining weight really fast. I am going to say that if you have health issues, I would really not suggest this diet. This diet is going to be a temporary diet. This is a temporary fix. It's not even healthy. Halfway through the diet, I was like, I'm going to kill everybody trying to get thick. Like, yeah, I'm going to have a big old booty, but I'm going to have diabetes and the kids might have it too because I'm tripping. So I would say you can listen to this diet at your own risk as you see it does work but it's some pros and cons and i'm gonna tell y'all about those two so number one you have got to eat most people they want to know why they cannot gain weight is because you're not eating that's why you're not eating and then when you are eating you're playing with your food you have to eat your food like you're trying to eat your food. You have to sometimes even eat your food so fast that you don't even give your brain time to let you realize that you're full so that you can continue to eat like multiple servings. The type of stuff that you're gonna wanna eat. You're gonna want to eat breakfast every day you're going to want to have a protein shake if you cannot have milk you are going to want to use almond milk or some type of nut milk because nuts is definitely going to help you gain weight peanut butter peanut butter sandwiches make you two three of them eat them before bed eating before bed right before it's time to go to bed is going to help you gain the weight eat and take a protein shake before you go to bed and make sure that you don't miss a beat for at least a month straight eating before bed and then we're going to get to some things that are very unhealthy but they really help me out i went on a cake a day diet and for about um a month or two i made a cake every as fast as i could eat it i was making a cake it was supposed to be a cake a day like i was supposed to eat a cake a day but you know it's not really that easy to eat a whole cake in a day so some people are like yeah it is but it's really not especially for multiple days on end so every other day i was baking a cake yeah and and i would cut the slices humongous i would have me some milk and some cake twice a day and sometimes three times a day Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. It's not healthy. It's not good. But some people need to gain weight because they need to gain weight fast for some type of work or project that they're doing. Or they lost a bunch of weight and they want to gain it back fast. Like I'm saying, this is not the best diet and it's really not recommended. But I'm telling you what helped me. Another thing that helped me was working out. You have got to work out. You have got to you have got to program your mind and train yourself to the point where when you're not working out, it doesn't feel right. What I did was I will link some of my workouts below. 
this is kind of as easy as it's going to get. Basically, you put on some music and you dance, okay? You hip roll, you belly roll, you twerk it out. You getting your, all your squats in. You getting all your, your ab workouts in. Like I said, I will link the exercises below so you can see the exercises that help me to gain weight. Um, working out, overworking the muscle. A lot of people like to do sets of 10, 15, and 20. I'm gonna tell you that your sets need to be like 30 to 40. You need to be working hard, as hard as you can, okay? You need to feel like you can't walk no more when you are done with your exercise. Another thing is not working out for super long periods of time, all the time. Contrary to what I just said, you are gonna have to rest your muscles. You're gonna have to work out all the time, but you're also gonna have to rest too. Have you ever noticed that your friend that barely goes in the gym be bigger than you? And it's because when they work out, they work out, but a big part of working out is resting. So you wanna make sure that you're resting as well. You don't wanna just work out seven days a week or even six. You just wanna get a consistent schedule of working out. And when you work out, you wanna actually work the muscle. Work, work it, like I said, up them reps. When you rest is when your muscle builds back up because the whole building of the muscle is when, you, when you're exercising it, you're ripping the muscle then when you're resting it's building back up so that's why you want to make sure that you take a protein shake because milk it helps to build the muscle back up after you work out so either a nut milk or regular milk um protein you can also take a, like more than what is a serving size of the protein is on the shake so if it says take one scoop do two I'm telling you. you want to make sure that you're eating waffles and butter like butter butter on everything you want to have butter on everything with everything if you can I'm telling you this diet is horrible and everybody is not going to be able to do it but you will be able to use some of the techniques take what you can take what you can use what you can so for like the first month I was drowning everything in butter, cooking everything in butter. Some people say, if you can drink a cup of milk, you are the spawn of Satan. Where is my daddy? Okay, because I was drinking the shit out of that milk. <laughs> Just give me a cup of it. Um, bowls of cereal. Like, make sure that you eat two bowls of cereal before you go to sleep every night. Even if you ate dinner, you still need to eat your cereal dessert. When you make a meal, make a full course meal. When every time, every time, every time you can make a full course meal. If you have a job and you have to work, then you have money where most people make almost a hundred dollars a day, a little bit less, a little bit more. Out of that hundred dollars that you make in a day, you should be able to dedicate $3 a day to Starbucks breakfast sandwich or wherever you're going to get your breakfast sandwich at. You need to eat. Make sure that you eating, okay? Make sure that you eating. My notifications is going crazy right now, so you might see me keep looking over here. Uh, it's just a lot. Also, go on food tours. If you can, Visit another state that's known for their food. Stay there, eat their food, eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I went back home to Chicago, I'm telling you, I was eating all type of stuff. I was eating Italian beef for breakfast. We eat chicken wings. We eat Nigerian and African food. That fufu, that pounded yam. Come on now, potatoes. You need to meal prep, okay? You need to take a day just because you get up and go to work does not mean that you are not lazy. 
You need to be, when you come home from work, your work at home now and on yourself and your self-care and your love starts. So you need to make sure that you are at least taking a day to do some meal prep. Because, yeah, I understand it's really hard to eat when it's time to eat and now you're starving. You're starving. You're absolutely starving. You've waited to the last minute with that you can. You haven't eaten all day. You're, you're doing it wrong, okay? You need to have little snacks, little snacks, little trail mix snacks, little at-hand snacks, protein-type snacks. Yogurts, ice cream. Like, if you can have ice cream almost every day have it again this diet is not meant for long-term use okay this is a short-term diet that i'm telling you about this is very short term three to four five months at the most is what i would suggest you being on this diet also stop eating the regular things that people think you got to eat for breakfast like you got to eat people think you got to eat pancakes eggs sausage some light for breakfast like okay you need to go all in for breakfast fry you some chicken fry you some chicken wings eat you some beef eat some steak and eggs eat some steak eat grits a lot of grits oatmeal you also want to make sure that you're just not eating this food and not working out because the more you work out and you do your exercises men do your crunches your sit-ups if you want to do your belly rolls you could do them too ladies do your belly rolls the food gonna come right out your stomach but you need to make sure that you're not just eating like that because a lot of people are full of shit literally they got this big old gut and they can't understand why it is because they eating all that food and they sit on it and they not having proper bowel movement. So make sure you making your fruit water as well. That's where cereals and that's where oatmeal come in because they work as a fiber. But also you want to make sure that you are making your fruit water. So you get some cucumbers, some lemon, you get some strawberries or whatever other fruits you want to put in there, citrus fruits, you get you some mint. Um, and you let it sit for a few hours and then drink that drink that that's gonna help to flush you out as well so that while you're building you're working out your arms you're working out your your um legs you're working out your body but then you're also cleansing your stomach too so you don't end up with a big gut as well also you have to be comfortable with having a gut okay you have to be comfortable with yourself you have to become one with your body love your body for what it is but work on it accept it for what it is at that moment but don't accept it long term like well this is my body and you know this is what life's getting like be your best self be your fittest self be your healthiest self you need to let go of all expectations to what your body is going to be like once you start working out and you start seeing the results that your body does naturally you'll be like oh my god i like my body like actually my body looks fine without no big old titties or you know what i'm saying my little butt that i got my little legs whatever i got going on that's that's fine for me i actually like this because it looks better than what i had going on previously so get out the expectations of what you think your body might look like and just work towards being your best self at the same time there are things that you can do like if you want a flatter stomach make sure you are doing ab exercises make sure that is the main thing that you are doing um if you want bigger legs make sure that's what you're going hard on doing if you want wider hips make sure you are doing wider hip exercises and that you're staying consistent get out this false narrative that you're painting for yourself and for your life that if you go to the gym and you start working out that you will have kim kardashian's body that's only going to work for some people for other people they're going to have to do what she did and go buy it okay so understand that real bodies with big booties have stomachs too it's very unrealistic to see a real a real body 
and a super flat stomach that has no one work done on it unless that person is really working hard at their stomach and you know if you want to if you get to a point where you're like okay i didn't got all the weight that i can off and now i want to go get a light pole on my stomach do you do you but work at it first because just because you went to go get a light pole on your stomach don't mean that you're not gonna gain the weight right back because you need to change your lifestyle and change your habits so eating late eating cakes and muffins drinking milk whether that's almond milk or regular milk whole milk not one percent not two percent all the fat you need all the fat in the milk cakes nigerian foods you need to eat foods that is not just american foods you need to eat other cultures foods you need to go get you some mediterranean food with extra pitas okay and hummus you need to get you some fufu and some stew okay you need 10 street tacos the real ones with just cilantro lime and onions like but that american food we all know that's a weight gainer right there so if you want to go the way i did make sure you're eating dorito nachos okay make you some nachos get you some doritos have the sour cream on the top with it okay um and the beans like if you can add beans in every meal add them wherever you can add add it make a big old pot of chili and eat that for days eat like for survival and less for enjoyment eat out of necessary necessity necessity eat out of necessity <laughs> eat out of necessity okay and when i say out of necessity meaning it's necessary to eat all the time when you can um start cooking at home because i realized when i used to eat out i'm just getting a bunch of empty carbs when i started cooking at home every day okay it's a chore and it's a lot but it's something that has to be done cook for yourself if you are going to go and eat out do not eat off the dollar menu go and eat you some good food some real food if you're gonna go eat out eat you some pastas eat you some pizza eat you some you know but get out of your mind that you're gonna be working out you're gonna be gaining you're gonna be gaining this weight and you're gonna have this flat stomach and you're gonna have this big butt and your chest gonna be sitting up i finally realized that i was getting really thick i was like oh my gosh like i am so thick so i had me some little short song you know what i'm saying I had my camera going and I saw the back of my legs and all the cellulite and the fat that I had got on my legs. I was like, oh my gosh, like this does not look how I thought it would look. So get out any expectations of what you think your body going to look like. Because your body going to look like what your body going to look like. Okay? Love your body and let your body come to the best. And understand that it's a lot of things that, that the person that you love, that you working so hard to get this body for whether it be your man your ex or your imaginary man most of the stuff that you care about they not finna care about the stuff that you think is important people really overlook all that stuff when they love you so i say the main thing is to work on yourself work on your mind and mentally don't sit up and obsess about this weight gain and this live your life start becoming the best you and once you start becoming the best you everything is just gonna fall in place like all of a sudden you're just gonna start getting questions like did you get a bbl i mean literally i have had that question so many times i cannot i didn't even know that my body looked like i had got a bbl because in my mind, I'm thinking like girls we get a BBL, they get like a big old ass. And my waist is it's not as small, but you know what I'm saying? It's because I worked on that area 
um and i took my detox teas take your detox teas make sure you taking your detox drinks you letting that poop go okay let the shit go flush it all right so angles is a lot is a big deal too like wear your body confidently you know what i'm saying like this is the body that you was given and this is spirit in there and let this let this spirit be com be confident like let your spirit make your chest poke out okay let your when you walk when, you know don't slouch don't slouch like every leg you know look it out So yeah, just be confident because you know when you when you sit up, your chest get bigger. Like you know, work on your posture. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what I did to gain my weight. I did go through a period of eating unhealthy foods, so I had to get confident with myself. I had to get confident with my body. I had to get comfortable with myself and my body that my body was not my stomach wasn't going to be flat and my abs were going to go away but it's give or take it's pros and cons okay cons i want to say because everybody wants to gain weight gain weight but let's talk about the cons to gain weight first of all when your body starts forming and you become like you know what i'm saying all of this okay People are going to be looking at you like a piece of meat. Like you are going to feel so sexualized. Like just because I want my body to look nice doesn't mean that I want it to look nice for every Tom, Dick, and Harry. And that's what you have to remember. Ones that's seeing it is all the weirdos outside of Home Depot, all the weirdos on the corner at the bus stop. Every time you step out of the car, now you are being sexualized. Treated like a piece of meat. People aren't being like, man, you have like, like, man, you look great. Like people are most of like, everything is sex. Everything is sex driven. Like people, I feel like people are ruin, ruining their friendships with me by being very sexually, you know, um, driven towards me with my new body or whatever. I don't really like that. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. It makes me feel ashamed even um, sometimes. It makes me feel like like I can't be sexy in my own right. Like I gotta cover it up because there's so many weirdos and perverts and just people that's just being disrespectful about it. Are people really taking you serious or when they see you is the first thing they see is your body and they just wanna smash. Like that's everybody's objective, you know, at this point. So the trust level, I'm low on it trust is down your skin will possibly break out you will possibly start to have breakouts when you start to eat more you start to incorporate more butters more grease more fatty foods more unhealthy foods your skin will not be exactly how it was so you now whereas you was insecure about your body now you're being insecure about your face so we need to work on our security level and stop finding our security in things that are gonna go away, like our body. You have to make sure that you live life because one thing for sure is that you're not gonna make it out alive. We cannot live and care about mundane things that disappear. It's really what was your attributes to the world that people really care about. Um, once you're gone not being able to fit my clothes no more that's really depressing fashion overhaul if you didn't see it go watch that it was a really good video and i got two more about to come up because we just did a haul i just bought all those clothes and now i went from a size three to a size seven within like two months my feet got bigger that was like the biggest kind of all um it really hurt because i been wearing my same size forever and now my feet have gone up a size and a half to two sizes and that's a lot that's a lot for me to grow out of your shoes when you're 33 years old that's and you've been wearing the same size since you was in the seventh grade so 
that was that's crazy i know my slides is tired of me they like where's your other shoes at stop sliding us just everywhere you go like people are going to be talking about it especially if you didn't have the weight before everywhere you go every time you turn around people is going to be oh my god look at that butt look at that butt like you know so depending on who it is it gets tiring like i said when it's men or when it's like my male friends who is starting to like be way too overtly like i don't you know it's just a lot it's, it makes you feel uncomfortable and it makes you feel like <laughs> the prey pros are i mean you start to feel good you feel good you, f you start to when you start to work out you start to look better you start to feel better mentally physically emotionally exercising helps i was gonna say eating better but i i wasn't eating better I, but eating eating and gaining weight another pro another pro is that i basically became a personal trainer like everywhere i go people asking me who trained you people are watching my videos everywhere i go people i didn't even think was watching my videos saying they saw it they working out to it people are saying they are so motivated people are it just really helped motivate me because it's like i have this purpose that i have not been fulfilling and i'm holding other people back from fulfilling their purposes because i'm supposed to be the inspiring thing in their life and i'm taking so long to do that but I'm telling you, like, I have people coming over constantly, want to work out with me. I start a workout group, so I have a workout group. I have people that want to be trained personally, so it will be a nice side hustle if anybody ever, you know, because once people start being like, what did you do? And then you're like, oh, I did this. I created this. I, you know, designed this workout and this meal plan, and people are like, I want to do what you're doing. Some pros and some cons to gaining weight, but basically that is my video on how to gain weight fast. If you liked it, please like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope we hit all the points. If you have any questions, go ahead, ask below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you so much. Talk to you later. Peace.